Alright guys, this is once this is not another VCR review. This is a uh, DVD no not DVD C D changer review. This is a Magnavox C D four thousand. It is a uh six dit oh sorry. It's a uh well, let me get my light in. It's a six disc multiplay single disc play. But but how are you gonna this doesn't even look like, guys, you must be wondering. This does not look like a CD player. This looks like something you would put an 8-track tape in. Wait, what's this? A 6-disc cartridge? And you load the CDs in like that. Yes, this actually uses a, uh... This is a six disc cartridge C D player. And I'm a fan and I like um those kinds of C players where uh, there's headphones, there's a headphone jack there. But I don't think it it's not the right headphone jack I, I will be using. It's it's not like the yeah, like I said, it's not like the headphone jack that you would see today. And this was made in 1989, so this is this is 30 years old, and it actually works fine still. And it actually looks very well built on the inside. So this is when CDs first were introduced. I I guess I don't know. I don't know when CDs first came out. If you know, let me know in the comments. And here's the inside. I replaced both belts. And they have more tension now. And the optical pickup is extru is actually unusual. Because look at this. Unlike the uh, laser going um, up and down, it goes... It just swings from left and right. Pretty cool, huh? That is something unusual you wouldn't see in a CD player or a DVD player. And, uh... And, yeah. Let's open this up. It's waiting for me to insert the cartridge. Loaded with five CDs. I don't have a six CD in there. Yeah, you have to load it in. You have to load it fast before it closes. So, let's put this in. Let this stop. So, everything's in there. Now, um, you can't see the cartridge from up here. You can see, like, some sort of cam on here that goes down. I mean that doesn't go down that it turns when it goes when it selects discs. I press stop though, and here's the uh, loading. No, not loading motor. Um, I'm so used to saying loading motors. I'm so used to collecting VCRs. Here's the motor assembly that drives the uh, cartridge. And, uh, it's not going to be as long as a VCR review, but, um, this is a pretty neat changer. And over here, and let's press play and see what happens. I don't have it hooked up to anything. There's an arm that opens the, uh, one of the cartridge slots up, and it loads a CD, like so. And here's the mechanism that controls it. And so let me turn this around so maybe you can see a better view if possible. Let's 
Now let's stop it. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Yeah, you can hear it. You, 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 I, you might be hearing the squeaking sound in there. I, I don't know. I think something needs to be greased in there, but I do not know where it is. And I do not want to risk breaking this player. And let's eject the cartridge. That's where it now just went into load automatically. And it ejects like an 8-track tape. You load it like an 8-track and all that, so that's pretty cool. Let's see that again. Just want to show you the mechanism. For the... CD tray. I've never seen a DVD player that uses that kind of cartridge. I wish they'd actually made one. But if they did make one, make one like a long time ago, please let me know in the comments. I highly doubt it, but if you know anything about a DVD player that uses this kind of mechanism, let me know. Because I would like to get my hands on one. And let's look at the laser assembly. I'll have a play disc so you can see how the laser turns, how it operates. It's playing. I can I can move the laser a little bit, and it'll go to a different track. Like like you, I can I can actually do that. It won't break the CD or the player. So you could use it like a look. You could use it somewhat like a record player. Right now it's on you know, track five. And let's see, let me just see what happens when I move it again. Now it's on track 10. It's pretty cool, huh? It's very, it's actually very cool. And, um, we'll stop it. Goes back to the home position. And I wish there was a way to take this off, but no, there is no way to take this, this part off. Let's finish this video off and eject. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, this actually ejects the cartridge too. So yeah. Let's see if it's possible to look at the inside while well, it's running. Stupid. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will soon upload a VCI review. I mean, I will upload a... Hold on. Be wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I totally forgot about to mention... I forgot to mention something. When I was taking the cover off, I couldn't instantly take it off right away because... Let me show you. You see this? These are torque screws. Pretty unusual to find on vintage electronics. It looks like Magnavox didn't want you to tamper with this. Well, too bad. You know I had my own ways. So I went to the hardware store and got a screwdriver kit with the, a, I mean, a torque screwdriver kit. And I was able to open it now. 
And I'm going to be keeping these screw... I mean, of course I'm keeping those screwdrivers for future references. Just in case I ever come across any CD player with that. I don't think I've ever seen that on a VCR, but, um... But, um... Yeah, you know. Just keep it as a future reference. Okay. I, this is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, new VCR reviews will be coming s soon. And next month, I'll be heading to Quebec to uh, visit Mr. Manuscope and uh, go on go dip shopping. And I will be also heading to that flea market he was taught that he went to get when he to get his uh yeah. I'll be going to that flea market as well where he got his Mitsubishi HSU A2. And um, I'm and I heard there's like some awesome VCRs there. I'm gonna try and at least take one. And the prices are pretty unusual, uh, unimaginable, but uh, I'm gonna tr at least try and take one. So, and I can't wait for this big trip, the big trip to happen. I will also film myself um, arriving at Mr. Manuscope's place. And, uh, film them, and I might also film me, myself, crossing the Canadian border for the first time in my life. Hope you guys are ready for that, so stay tuned for, um, till next month. Well, I will be uploading sooner than a month, but I, I'm just definitely, I'm just saying I'll be, that's what's gonna happen in a month. So, see you guys later, I get my passports and everything, we can't rewind.